Welcome to In the Kitchen with Khan. Today we are going to make a special dish. It's called toenail pudding. So the ingredients you're going to need is you're going to need two types of mayo. You're going to need chipotle mayo and you're going to need light mayonnaise to keep the body in check. So first I'm just going to put this Mmm, yum. Uh, yummy. Alright, so the first step of making this dish is clipping the toenails. Now, you will need a log, any type of log. I'm going to use this log here. And I'm going to be taking exactly 10 toenails from his toes. So, let's start off with the big toe. Go alive. Please go alive. <laughs> you gotta give him love. Oh my god! Alright, so now that we're done with the cutting of the nails, we can get to the mixing, the mixing part. So, you're going to want exactly one half cup of regular mayonnaise. Good. Now, I'm going to want two tablespoons of the chipotle. I'm going to get this squid looking thing. just want to get in there. Oh my. You see that? Yum. Yum. Now that you're at this step, now that now that you're at this step, you're gonna want to put it in the blender. Now that you have everything in the blender the mayonnaise, and the toenails. You're going to want to add some milk. I don't know how much that milk that was, but, you know, do what you want. Because I don't care. Now you have to cook it. So, you're going to want to preheat the oven at 350. Luckily, we've already had it preheated. See? Already preheated. Yo. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the microwave to exactly 2 minutes and 4 seconds. You're going to let that bubble up until it's all good and warm. Good! It's done! Now, if you see here, it looks a bit foamy. That is natural. Now once you're done with that, you want to put this 
Look at that booty, show me the booty, give me the booty, I want the booty, back up the booty, I need the booty, I like the First actually 45 minutes. Good, it's done. Now that your dish is prepared and cooked, you can now add the seasoning. So you would, you're going to want lemon pepper seasoning. And a little bit of salt. This, this, one's, this is a little hard. This salt is hard. It, the easiest way to get hard salt, not hard, is by adding a little bit of water. Just give it a little stir. Mmm. Salty. 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 So now that we're done with that, we have our final finished product. The best way to prepare it, I believe, is to put it in a nice wine glass. The wind's coming from over there. Delicious! Yummy! Nothing, I've never had anything better than this. Toenails. Yama. You can tell by tasting your finished product if you perfected it. In my case, I have not. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. Give it that extra mm, to the taste. And as you see, I have spilt some of my dish. I'm kind of clumsy. So what you're going to want to do is just grab your hand and you're going to top. Just put it right back in the cup. Like Nothing ever happened. Yum. In this back here, again, in my dish cup.
I'm done. I'm finished. I finished my dish, and as you can see, I loved it. And that's all for today on In the Kitchen with Khan. Have a good one. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen.